This interview came out a few days ago, but let's watch it and then let's talk about it. They ask him hard questions that nobody never asked. You just saw him answering. Some hard questions. You're you're the public guy. You got to answer the hard questions. She's aggressive. Sharp. <laughs> Sharp. <laughs> So, this is just a shit show overall. Like, I feel bad for the girl, honestly. She reminds me of me. Of course, I think a lot of us can kind of relate to her in, in certain situations we've been in. I mean, it's toxic. And I think we've all been in a toxic situation. And I don't think it's it's everyone. I don't think it's our place place to judge. Um, but it's sad. It's kind of embarrassing. Uh, Blueface looks like he's just over it. <laughs> This shit just happens all the time. I Get her out. Get her out the room. Just let her sober up. And it looks like that's kind of like the problem, right? She seems like she's always drunk. And from what I saw from the interview, I did watch the whole thing. She seemed like she's drunk. Like I said, I can relate. I had a drinking problem. <clears throat> Excuse me. I had a drinking problem. Um, you know, when I was in a toxic situation, someone was kicking my ass. And I would drink to cope with it. And of course you know that's not that's not that's never the best thing to do and i'm not saying that that's what blueface is doing to her but when you're in such a toxic environment you're around toxic people you're just in in such a bad space you're gonna find something to cope and you know i don't do the drugs <laughs> <laughs> the alcohol was like the best, next best thing for me um it's unfortunate but it just it's really sad to see her like that she's so aggressive and i think if she would just kind of chill out kind of tap into her fe her feminine side a little bit more she walks in like super like who 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 like she ready to just like kick somebody ass and it's just not attractive to no man um you know no man wants his woman to be like a more aggressive than he is right like yeah he wants you to be ready to go like if a bitch try to do some shit it's like yeah bitch i got my man like what's up like square up but like you're his woman you're supposed to be his safe space he doesn't need you to be turning up on 10 on him you know let that be everybody else but on him be respectful you feel me and she for me like I said, she's young she's young she's not respectful towards him in my opinion um you know in my situation i would never talk to my man like that in front of nobody maybe behind closed doors i might you know try and pop off at the mouth a little bit but i'm never going to talk to my man in front of company like that i don't care if we're at their place our place it's so disrespectful it's not even cute and don't a man want to be with a woman who's more manly than him right like it's it's like i might as well be with another man right like you're, you're supposed to be the feminine and soft and loving and caring and supportive even if i'm wrong you tell me i'm right and then when we're not around people you didn't tell me i'm wrong right <sighs> it seems like she's she has a lot of growing to do um it seems like <laughs> she she needs to sober the fuck up um i know i've been like I said, i've been there i've been drunk like for the whole pandemic i was drunk let me tell you i was drunk throughout the pandemic i was drunk <laughs> i was drunk i was off that hen dog like every day i had a fifth to myself not the one we was sharing me and my ex but the the fifth was to myself like because i couldn't cope with a lot of stuff he was doing to me so the best way for me to cope was to drink um and you know like i said that shit's unfortunate it happens but Krishan, i pray for her um it makes me sad seeing that but as she grows and she gets older she is going to regret and she may see say it now but she's gonna regret a lot of that stuff that she she's doing now like releasing her sex tape and all that other stuff she's gonna regret a lot of that stuff um because you get older right you know you end up wanting to have kids have a family you're gonna look back on all this stuff you did and how you embarrassed yourself to the public eye and then you're not gonna be able to take it back the internet is forever and sometimes very unforgiving so like i said i pray for her <sighs> i hope the situation gets better you know 
usually gets worse in situations like that but I do hope it gets better for her and him like you know he has kids he has a a, a a baby mother nobody wants that type of stuff going on even with his mom like it's just it's just a mess it's a fucking shit show they all need therapy I think and I think that's where it needs to be therapy and God 